Everybody uses numbers to count different things. We scored 256 runs in 50 overs in the inter-school cricket championship yesterday. That's using numbers, right? Did you know that an ancient Indian mathematician gave the word the symbol and the meaning of zero? This basic method of counting numbers is the contribution of Indians. Haha, <laughs> zero. What's so great about zero? Don't laugh. Zero is a hero in numbers. Without the symbol of zero, we cannot count very large numbers easily. When zero is between digits, he's a hero. He can make a number big or small. Really? Did you know that when we count zero, one, two, three, and so on till nine, ten symbols are used. The same ten symbols are used in counting a large number of things as well. You are right. All numbers, big or small, can be written using these ten symbols. These ten symbols are called digits. One number more than nine is called ten. But the symbol used to write ten is one and zero. It was fun. Now come, Zulu. I will race you to the rocks on the other side. This is my place. This is my place. Did you know that each digit in a number occupies a place? They also have places. Did you know that depending on the place each digit occupies, it has a place value? Place value? Starting on the right hand side, the places are units, tens and so on. I know! Hundreds and thousands. But why do numbers have places? To simplify writing and reading numbers. When we write a number, each digit has a place value. Yes, if I say 53, the place value of 5 is 50 and the place value of 3 is 3. And if I write 35, it is not the same as 53, right? Right. 35 has 3 in the tens place and 5 in the ones place. That is 30 plus 5. But do you know why? Let me take an example. How many sweets do you eat every day? Father lets me have only one. Right. But how many does he buy from the shop? A packet of 10 sweets. He keeps them to give my friends. Right. There are 10 sweets in one packet. Imagine that the packet is called 10s. Imagine that one sweet is called 1. There are 10 ones in a 10. Now, the shopkeeper puts 10 such packets in a box to send them to schools on functions. Imagine that. One box of sweets will have 10 packets. Each packet will have 10 sweets. We get 100 sweets in the box. I see a pattern. 10 ones make 110. 10 10s make 100. And wait, I know. 10 hundreds make 1000. Wow, that is an amazing concept. You are right. Counting in tens has made mathematics very simple. Counting and writing big numbers becomes easy when you understand place value.